Hi, this is my video response to the 9 Blue Jay, asking specifically how to operate one of these manual style machines. Um, I apologize if the video is a little shaky. I will be doing it off my phone since I don't have access to my other camera for my first video. Um, so, this string machine is a professional manual model because instead of having the fancy electric system for tensioning, it is a manual crank. Uh, still a professional style because it stands on its own and is freestanding. This particular model is a Gamma 5003, and I have to start off by saying that I am a fan. I've pulled off about 400 rackets from this machine, and I have not had one problem. As I, and as you can see, the track looks still like it's almost brand new. Uh, this is a six-point mounting machine, which means it contacts the frame at six points, so you have one, two, and three on this side, and three on the other side. As you can see in my other video, these knobs adjust the arms, and the center knobs adjust the center posts. Uh, this particular machine has two 360 degree swivel clamps and the clamps themselves also rotates 360 degrees with inside, inside the clamp base. So in order to clamp a string with these, you just approach, uh, maneuver it to underneath the string, move this up, clamp the string, and then lock down the clamp base and that keeps that from moving. And to release it, you just undo the process and open up the clamp. The, ten uh, the tightness on the clamps is adjustable. That is this little knob right here, and that will adjust the width. You can adjust that to the width of your string. The mounting posts themselves are also adjustable. With this Allen screw here, you are given that Allen wrench within the, with the tools that come with the machine when you purchase the machine. Just loosen that up, and both of these slide along those slots there. Um, in order to adjust the tightness of the clamp bases, there is a hole underneath here, and you're also given the tools to do that. If you feel like you need to remove it completely from the turntable, you can also do that. There are two screws located underneath this black post, or this black block here, and you can remove the clamps that way. Underneath is a what I call a toothed locking mechanism, so this locks the whole entire turntable to keep it from moving. Uh, this becomes very helpful when you're trying to string rackets with O ports. So as opposed to a disc system, this lever right here, when it is down, is in the lock position. And as you can see, the teeth go down and retract when the lever is up, and that allows the turntable to spin. So when you start stringing your racket, this is just a Babolat, uh, Pure Drive Rotic GT Plus, because you have three sets of holes on the bottom, or you can just tell that the U is in the center here, whichever method you prefer, you have to start at the bottom. So you would loop your string through the bottom and through this side, and you would pull your first string from this side. So once you've clamped your first string and locked your clamp base to keep that from moving, you would simply take the string and place it in this slot right here. Now it's very, very important that you keep this screw and you know what this screw is for. This is the adjustment for the this moving piece right here. That's the part that actually contacts your strings. If that is not adjusted properly, your string can either slip in the process of pulling tension or this will actually put so much pressure on it that it will crush your string. So as you can see that mine is almost all the way in, which means that this is almost all the way restricted. This plastic piece is kind of an optional use. What you do, I only, you, what you can do every single time is loop the string around and then subsequently put it into the slot. I don't prefer to do that unless I have to when I have my turntable locked to go around a clamp and then at that point I choose to loop around. So setting the tension on your manual crank machine. It is a spring-based system, so as you can see right here, this spring is what is responsible for your tension. This spring pushes up against this bar, which pushes up against this mechanism, and that's how it determines that. So in order to set your tension, you have to look at the scale. The top is kilograms, and the bottom is pounds, and the dial is in three-pound increments. As you can see, we have zero, we have one, and we have two. So in order to set your tension, let's say we wanted to set our tension at 
and I won't go all the way up, we'll just go to about 30 pounds. You would look for the 30 mark, which is right there. And you would make sure that that mark lines up with 30. And then you'd want to go all the way to zero. And if you wanted to go to 31, you'd go to 30 and to one. And that's how you set your tension there. Now, as once you have your tension set and you start pulling your first string, like I said before, you want to bring your string through there. I like to put my finger back behind it just a little bit and push up on it. That way it grabs and then you can freely push the string through. And then as you grab this, that's your handle, you crank back until this brake kicks out. So what's going to happen when that reaches tension, that will kick out and that keeps everything from moving. Then you'll take your other clamp, clamp the string that is there, lock your clamp base, and then with two hands, you take one hand and hold this uh, crank, and then you take your other hand to push the brake and slowly release the tension. Otherwise, this whole mechanism is just going to shoot forward very rapidly because you're releasing all that tension at one time. In order to calibrate the machine, you can follow the process that is outlined in your manual that is going to come with it, and you also have all the Allen wrenches that will be necessary to do that. And the calibrating takes place in this little box right here. Uh, if you would like a more detailed instruction, a set of instructions about how to calibrate your machine, uh, please comment below and I will get that video up for you.